Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. The 2280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. In order to equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. You can use SCVs to build additional supply depots. The refinery forces as raw test bean gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marsara Base. Adjutant Online. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent Protoss destruction of the Chao Sara colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Can't believe we're being sent to the wasteland. These Confederates think they can push anybody around. Outstanding. Rock and roll. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rayner, Marshal of these parts. Jacked up and good to go. Go, go, go! This is Jimmy. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep them away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn! Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. Glad to see you, boys. Time to kick some serious butt. You want a piece of me, boy? Outstanding. Rock and roll. Outstanding. You got my attention. What the hell did they do to that command center? The forces are under attack. Jacked up and good to go. Yes. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Rayner. 
by destroying a vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a Confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. Looks like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a zergling, Lester. Smaller type of zerg. But he'd be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mengsk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You're familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. You know, of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw, too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. Yes, sir? Hey, this thing's on fire! You ought to send an SCB out here to repair it. You can fix my bike up too while he's at it. Not enough minerals. until dropship arrival. You want a piece of me, boy? Sons of Korhal dropships approaching. Strap yourselves in, boys.
Your tenure as colonial magistrate is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey man, Arcturus' boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sara is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet, and so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. This is Jimmy. Rebel scum. Oh, oh yeah. This should be good. Right on. Zerg. I don't believe this. Believe it. I saw Zerg with the Confederate holding pens myself, and that was over a year ago. It's clear the Confederates have known of these creatures for some time. For all we know, they could be breeding the things. Be that as it may, our priority here is accessing the Confederate network. We'll deal with the Zerg another day. Right on. This should be good. Ah! Oh yeah! Ah! Ah! Sounds fun. Hey, we found the plans, man. And the transport's waiting for me. Headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there, under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. This is Jimmy. Right on. Sounds fun. Right on. Captain Raynor, I finished scouting out the area and... You pig! What? I haven't even said anything to you yet. Yeah, but you were thinking it. Oh, yeah. You're a telepath. Look, let's just get on with this, okay? All right. Sounds fun. It'd be a pleasure. I gotcha.
base is under attack. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan Revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Tarsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. has fallen apart, Duke. Its colonies are in open revolt. The Zerg are rampaging unchecked. What would have happened here today if we hadn't shown up? Your point? I'm giving you a choice. You can return to the Confederacy and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience, Edmund. All right, Mengsk. We got a deal. You've made the right choice, General Duke. I can't believe you're really gonna trust this snake. Don't worry, Jim. He's our snake now. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Manx is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force. But first, we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. 
Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Mar Sara Commander, was one such location. What are you saying? I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying you were all subjects of a Confederate weapons test. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. I'm having doubts about this one, Taurus. I just don't think anyone deserves to have the Zerg unleashed on them. I know you have personal feelings about this. But you can't let your past cloud your judgment. Base is under attack. Carry out your orders, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Thinking the same thing. Yes, sir. Transmit orders. Report for duty. Roger that. Right away, sir. Your forces are under attack. Roger that. Right away, sir. Orders received. Affirmative. Base is under attack. Psy emitter in place. Just promise me we'll never do anything like this again. We will do whatever it takes to save humanity. Our responsibility is too great to do any less. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonis itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonis in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. They're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. <laughs> right. What? Transmit coordinates. I can't believe this. Alpha Squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Rose Eden. Need light in two, sir. Destination. Rose Eden. Delight in two, sir. Absolutely. Move it. Absolutely. Rose Eden. Absolutely. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. 
Several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First, you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg that Megs came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shiny armor routine. It suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. Contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. 
General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Core Hall fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. And if we hope uh, to reach To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get the fleet is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis's primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Well, Commander, looks like we're on our own. It's funny. Seems like yesterday Arcturus was the idealistic rebel crusader. And now he's the law and we're the criminals. It kills me to know that we hope to achieve his goals of conquest. Damn it. I shouldn't have let her go alone. At HQ. Drop the buckle up. In the vibe, five by five. Hang on, we're in for some chop. Strap yourselves in, boys. I copy that. In transit HQ. Strap yourselves in, boys. Call the shot. I hear that. Never know what I hear that. Not enough energy. Nuclear launch detected. Your forces are under attack. Strength already. 
already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost. generates larva, which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Overlords. Overlords provide control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more overlords to control them. You have enough minerals. Select a lava and mutate it into an overlord. For your strains, you must generate the various hive structures. The drones themselves mutate into these structures. Yet be careful. It requires your last drone to make a building. Saz. I too am a cerebrate of the Overmind. I have located a small band of Terrans who could threaten the Chrysalis and the Hive Cluster. You must not allow them to leave here alive. Spawn more Overmind forces on the attack. Do with my minion 
Sons as you will celebrate. They will serve you unquestioningly. Go now, and bring swift wrath to all who would oppose the swarm. Sleeper's rebirth is at hand, and soon my great 
greatest creation shall be loosed. <laughs> Stay frosty and keep your eyes peeled for our target. Remember, not only are we up against the Zerg here, but our old pal General Duke may be creeping around too. Let's hope this trip wasn't a big mistake. Cerebrate, the chrysalis is opening. Do not allow any Terrans near it. Evolution complete. Father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the overmind feel the wrath of the swarm. Well done, What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Mother of God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. But the dreams. I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Cerebrate, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel, and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zaz. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any Cerebrate. Truly, no Zerg can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. 
by your will over mine. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. Cerebrate, take these, the deadliest of my minions. They shall aid you in your search. the records I sought. We have everything we need here.
Feel that, Servant? The Kutas are here, on Char. They have been for some time, hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life, would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Garrigan, I sense something strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You'll be the doom of us all. Tassadar, do your underlings always do your fighting for you? This shall be our battleground, O oh Queen. Face me here, and I will defeat you myself. Me, Templar. So long as you continue to be so predictable, O oh Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Kerrigan. Sars is dead. It is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zaz's brood has run amok, and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrate, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. <laughs> Of Iyer, 
the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Aya directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Seribrit, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. servants. Have the mighty Templar lost their infallible courage? Well spoken, concubine of the Zerg. But though we strike at you from the shadows, do not think we lack the courage to stand in the light. You would do well to abandon this attack. You seem overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless Cerebrit to be assailed under cover of darkness. I am the Queen of Blades, and my stare alone would reduce you to ashes. You and your ilk cease to amuse me. Prepare yourself for Oblivion's embrace. All forces are under attack.
under attack. Cerebrit, the Kateran crystals are in our possession. Now, all shall tremble before the might of the swarm. You have done well, my Cerebrit. The Protoss can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the swarm. But now you must assault one final site before our conquest is assured. Behold, there is a temple not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have borne witness to the passing of countless millennia, the temple which you must assault is older by far. For it was constructed by my creators, the Zelnaga, and it marks the site where the Zelnaga first set foot upon Ayr. The temple must be cleared, and the Kaderan crystal set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready, for it is upon that ground alone that I may be manifest. Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. 
The former executor, Tassadar, was commanded to halt the Zerg progress in the Terran sector by burning the infested human worlds. Unfortunately, he disregarded his orders and attempted to destroy the Zerg while sparing the Terrans from the flame. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, will meet you there and assist you in this endeavor. more upon the field of battle. I hunger for battle immediately, Bakala. As you will. What would you ask me? Now, Bakala, as you will. Fire. Fire. Executor. As you no will. Executor. Although we two have marched across hundreds of worlds together, I never imagined that we would be fighting an iron. The Zerg are indeed worthy foes. Antaro Adun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit that Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Alvarez. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar. Where have you Be been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste. I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy! Enough! Hear me, Executor. For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tassadar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayer at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayer, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Not enough minerals. Return to the Citadel. I shall notify you when the boot becomes erratic. Executor, I bring news most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. The Conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. 
Nevertheless, we must stand resolute, for attacking defenseless Cerebrates is not the way of true Protoss warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ire. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Adun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ayer. <laughs> Overwhelming Zerg forces. Praetor, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Adun. Receiving. Executor, I know that you were reluctant to leave Ire in this dark hour, and that you still grieve for the loss of your comrade, Phoenix. But remember that he lived and died as a Templar. He has reached the Kala's end. There is no greater glory than that. We Judicator are called to look beyond such matters, to ensure the safety and future of our people. It is not the Zerg but the rogue Tassadar, who represents the greatest threat to us now. If he is allowed to spread the Dark Templar's tainted influence to Ayer, all will be lost. We will find him and bring him to judgment. Tassadar claimed that this world was abandoned by the Zerg just prior to the invasion of Ayer. Yet I still sense a lingering darkness here. Be prepared for anything, Executor. If there are still Zerg on this world, then they must surely know of our arrival. <laughs> about to abandon all hope of rescue. I have come to arrest you and bring you home to Aya to stand trial. Arrest me? Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. You travel all this way to arrest me? Don't let it get to you, man. This happened to me once. Who is this human, Tassadar? 
The name's Jim Rayner, pal, and I won't be talked down to by anybody. Not even a Protoss. Amusing. Tassadar, your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. Executor, prepare to take Tassadar into Executor, custody. Executor, wait. I do not know what they have told you about me. But what I have done, I have done for Ire. Help me find Zeratul and his Dark Templar. They alone can defeat the Overmind Cerebrates. Once we have won, I shall gladly submit myself to the judgment of the Conclave. Unthinkable. You presume that we would side with the Dark Ones as you have? You have gone quite mad, Tassadar. You shall speak of them with respect, Eldaris. Executor, there is much that I can explain to you. If only you'll help me find Zeratul. Have engaged Tarakala. Of course, Tarakala. Of course, Tarakala. We are under attack. Go ahead, Commander. Mitchell, not time. Confirm. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Initiated. Speed our way home. Executor, by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you were our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race's salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the Prelate, Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless. For the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrate failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ire. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased. How may I help? Tarakala energy! Isatu!
Hey, Sergeant! Sarge! Hey! You will immediately tell me why you have called me from my desk, Private! Protoss unit, Sarge! Coming through the South Pass! It looks broke! Kill it! Executor, I sense that Zeratul and his brethren are close by, but I have been unable to make contact with them. I fear they may be in grave danger. We must scour this area immediately and find the Dark Templar, lest they be overcome by the Zerg. How may I help? I'm here. I hear that. I'm gone. Shall be done. Of course. For Adun, Tarakala. For Adun. Never know what hit him. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Tarakala. Of course. Greetings, Dark One. I have come to bring you home. Greetings to you, mighty Tazadar. I knew that you would not forsake us. For in the time that you have spent with us, you have learned to value our ways and our methods. You have learned to channel our dark power as well as that of your masters. And thus, you alone have found completeness beyond the scope of the color. But I fear that the Conclave in its pride would never bring itself to welcome outcasts such as we. Outcasts though you may be, it is your vision and courage that may yet save our home world from the swarm. I beg of you, Zeratul, return with us to Ayr. Though they are petty and have in ignorance cursed your kind for generations, Help me save our people. Since our banishment long ago, we have never failed in our responsibility to Ayo. Though it shall cause us great pain to see our homeland once more, we shall return with you, Tassadar. We will do what we can. Greetings, Executor, and greetings to you, Tassadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it seems... It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Old friend. Would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. 
You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar, Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Taraladun, Noble Phoenix. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Although it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. Executor, you and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's Law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness. For your actions shall set us all unto the Zerg. Doing, Executor. Don't give up the fight. Tassadar of the Templar, by your actions you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave. And you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learned to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O oh fallen Templar? Eldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this. Given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld to the end. Us to fend for ourselves. 
I wonder if Tassadar was mistaken to have put his trust in them. We are receiving a transmission from Captain Raynor's command ship. This is Raynor. I'd like to help if I can. Tassadar laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, bold human. You shall. Commencing. Carrier has arrived. Go on to Executor. We have found Tassadar's stasis cell. We will attempt to free him now. Go to Go to Conclave is absolute. Make peace with Adun. Stay thy hand, Adjudicator. The stewards of Tassadar shall not fall while the Dark Templar live. Call off your guards and stand aside, and you may yet live to see another moonrise. I will not be addressed so by one so devoid of the Kala's light. You and your vile brethren shall die with these traitors. Are you truly so blinded by your vaunted religion that you cannot see the fall ahead of you? Your conclave believes that they are winning this war, but all they have succeeded in doing is helping the Overmind to win. What could you possibly know about our designs, Blasphemer? You speak of knowledge, Judicator. You speak of experience. I have journeyed through the darkness between the most distant stars. I have beheld the births of native sons, and borne witness to the entropy of entire realities. Unto my experience, Alderus, all that you have built here on Iora is but a fleeting dream. A dream from which your precious conclave shall awaken finding themselves drowned in a greater nightmare. We shall see. In Taro Adun, Executor. My gratitude to you for having secured my release knows no bounds. By all the gods, we may win yet. The time has come to let loose the fury of the Dark Templar. Zeratul. Perhaps the time has come to tell our friends of the foe we face. Indeed. When I slew the Cerebrid on Char, I touched briefly with the essence of the Overmind. In that instant, my mind was filled with its thoughts. And I tell you now, our worst fears have come true. The Zerg were indeed created by the ancient Zelnaga. The same beings that empowered us in our infancy. But the Overmind grew beyond their constraints, and has at last come to finish the experiments they began so long ago. So you see, my friends, we fight not only to save Ire, but all creation. If we fall to the Zerg, then the Overmind will run rampant throughout the stars, consuming all sentience, all life. It is up to us to put an end to this madness. Once and for all. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg Hive Clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the Clusters and assassinate the Cerebrates. Adun willing, the Cerebrates' deaths will distract the Overmind long enough for us to assault it directly. <laughs>
and Sekitor, our plan worked perfectly. The Zerg defenses are broken, and the way to the Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Ire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ire. Executor. Tassadar. This comes too late to you. But the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. Antaro Adun, brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're gonna send some backup for us? You have not enough minerals.
Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zerg still rage across our ruined homeworld. Without the Conclave to lead us, or the protection of our great fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. Eldaris is correct, Executor. As we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt their rampage until every last one of us is dead. I suggest that we retreat to our last functional warp gate, and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Ayr is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your conclave did. They are dead now, Eldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakuras, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Eldaris. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find us passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Executor, I am Artanis. Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Hey boys, mind if we tag along? I figure you're heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Raynor, as ever, your assistance is appreciated. We would be honored if you joined us. Orders Templar to destroy these Midas canals, so as to stem the flow and serve reinforcements through them. Entaro Azul, I do this for I <laughs> survivors before the Zerg return. Just worry about getting your people through the gate, Executor. Phoenix and I will hang back and protect our flank until everyone is through. Taro Tassadar, Executor. The survivors from Ayr have made it safely through the gate. Yet, amidst the chaos of our retreat, we lost contact with Phoenix and Raynor. I fear that they may have been overrun by the Zerg. Fear not, Artemis. Phoenix is as stalwart a warrior as I have ever known, and the Terran Raynor has proven himself to be highly resourceful in the past. I for one believe that they made it here safely, but while we wait for a word from them, we must reconnoiter the surrounding area and find a suitable location for a more permanent settlement. Once we're situated, we can begin to search for the Dark Templar. There are Zerg on Shakuras. They must have taken control of the warp gate on Ayr. 
Transmission from Rainer and Phoenix. They are still alive and are fighting to retake the warp gate on the We must pylons. secure the gate on this side without delay. Executor, my crew and I will remain here on Iyer and shut the gate down on this side. It's the only way to make sure that the Zerg won't send more reinforcements to Shakuras. You will be hopelessly outnumbered. And once the gate is shut down, there will be no one to save you should you be overrun. Yeah, well, I'm a man of action. What can I say? I shall remain with Raider as well, Executor. My duty is to hire after all. Farewell then, brave warriors. We will send through all the troops we can spare. Thanks. You kids just remember to play nice from now on, okay? Wish us luck. I am Rashagal, matriarch of the Dark Templar. And I welcome you and your companions to our world. Zeratul has informed me of the fall of Iron, and I am deeply grieved. I am one of the few Dark Templar old enough to remember our ancestral home with clarity. Yet no matter how tragic the circumstances, it is clear that fortune has reunited our people. We Dark Templar will never forget our banishment from Iron, nor the Conclave's sins against us. But you and your companions are no longer of the Conclave. The example set by your fallen hero, Tassadar, has shown you that when the light and dark sides of our energies are united, our power is undeniable. But Matriarch, the Zerg who have followed us here are unlike any enemy the Protoss have ever known. You speak the truth, Judicator. And yet, there lies a dormant power here that can help us to scour the Zerg from Shakuras forever. Long ago, we Dark Templar were a nomadic people. But, when we found a remarkable monument upon this world, we decided to remain here to study it. We discovered that the enormous structure is actually an ancient Zelnaga temple, dedicated to the race that sired us all. The temple is situated above a nexus of powerful cosmic energies. If we were to access those energies... Then we should strike now, while the Zerg still muster their forces. Alas, we cannot. In order to properly channel the energies of the temple, we will need the twin crystals, Urash and Kallus, that legends say were separated many ages ago. The Urash is laced with pure Templar energies, while the Kallus is comprised of dark Templar energy. Only by using these two crystals in unison can we hope to channel the potent energies of the temple. Then it is clear that we must retrieve these crystals, wherever they may be. Agreed. But first, we must deal with the Zerg and their two Cerebrates who have already taken up station around the temple itself. To arms, my children. Scour the temple grounds of this foul infestation. Remember, young Templar. Cerebrates can be killed only by dark Templar weapons and energies. My brethren will make short work of any cerebrate. Executor, our sensors show that the two cerebrates are surrounded by spore colonies. 
we will deploy our Corsairs to compensate for their defenses. I don't join it us. <laughs> You've not enough minerals. Despite what you may think, I haven't come here to fight you. This is laughable. Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If you let me explain, I'm sure you'll understand that- You are the enemy of all who live, Kerrigan. What makes you think we would have anything to do with you? Because, Zeratul, I bring news of an event that threatens us all. If you'd be so good as to escort me back to your citadel, I'll tell you everything I know. Very well, Kerrigan. We shall hear what you have to say. But be warned, we will not suffer your treachery here. Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on chart. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zeratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at she stake here than to... She is infested to the core. I, for one, will not listen to any of Silence, this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Kerrigan. Apparently, many of the renegade Cerebrates, commanded by Dagoth, have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet. But Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two Cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, it'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. We must find the crystals Urash and Kalis before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagoth and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you, and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis, and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moon rise.
have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. However, their configuration profile is unlike any Terran group yet encountered. We are receiving a transmission from the fleet's command ship, identifying itself as the Alexander. Propos Commander, I am Admiral Alexei Stukov of the United Earth Directorate. We are here to take control of the Terran Dominion and all of its outlying colonies. You are in direct violation of Terran space and have openly attacked Terran troops. Lower your shields and power down your weapon systems. The UED will be taking custody of your ships and whatever spoils you have garnered from this planet. United Earth Directorate. Raynar spoke of the distant Terran homeworld called Earth. These humans have come a long way to make war on us. Have faith, Zeratul. You almost sound as if you fear these humans. What are they to such as we? Was it not we who defeated the dreaded Overmind? Yes, Artemis, we did vanquish the Overmind. But we did so with the help of humans. Do not be so quick to underestimate them. Of course. Executor, I shall test the mettle of these humans by scouting ahead of your ships and finding a way through this blockade. In Toro Tassadar! She has... for a dune! Thus I serve! The warriors have engaged the enemy! Yes, Executor. Indeed. Consider it done. With the power generator destroyed, the missile turrets on this platform are no longer operational. However, we will need reinforcements to have engaged the, the enemy. Reinforcements are en route now, Young Templar. Are 
fruit now, young Templar. is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. <laughs> is ours. Let us depart this wretched world and return to Shakuras. Provided there is still a Shakuras to return to. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayr have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayr and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his Loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our Citadel. 
I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now we have a friend to kill. May I don't forgive us. Must be advised, Executor. Our forces are divided. Alderis has taken control of our Templar warriors and arbiters. It is possible that he may even send Archons against us. Fear not, comrades, for we have Archons of our own. Should the dire need arise, all Dark Templars... Your warriors have engaged the enemy, Dark Archons. Though we sacrifice our warriors in doing so, only the might of the Dark Archons can match the forces of Aldaris. Your warriors have engaged the enemy! It is finished, Judicator. Surrender your remaining forces, and join us in eradicating the Zerg. I would sooner die, Dark One, than tarnish the memory of Ire by joining with you. Your fate was sealed the moment your matriarch allied herself with the Queen of Blades. Those of us still loyal to Ire will never be slaves to Kerrigan and her broods. Alderis, be reasonable. Kerrigan has changed. She no longer seeks to enslave anyone. Do not force us to destroy you. You can no longer afford to be so naive, Artanis. While you were securing the crystals, I discovered that your matriarch has been harboring a dark secret. She has been manipulated by this- I have no time for this. What have you done? I just cleaned up your mess, Protoss. Don't be so squeamish. Wretched creature. This was our Protoss matter. You had no right to interfere. Be gone from this world. You are no longer welcome among us. Fine. I've done what I came here to do. I've ensured the destruction of the renegade Cerebrates, and I used you to do it. Have fun, mighty Protoss. We'll be seeing each other again. Real soon. This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan. And we played right into her hands. Yes, we did, Artanis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the Temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. 
These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself, while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children, and know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. When you bring the crystals to the temple, the Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. This is not enough minerals. Gosh, now I die. The Urash is secured. The Gallus is secured. Executor, Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. Adun be with you, Executor. Your thoughts. We are under attack, not in the energy. My eyes.
Adjutant Online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the Med Officer can provide you with additional cryostem supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmat. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral de Gaulle. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dukat. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personal. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Baralas. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. Movie! Proceed! Oh, crap. This land inside doesn't have any gas. Guess we'd better start looking for another geyser. Delighted to, sir! Delighted to, sir! Proceeding! Captain, I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. Intrigue. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's worth the effort. Kyrie can't feel there. Report for duty. Absolutely. Movie. Move it! Delighted to Mission successful, Admiral. Excellent, Lieutenant. This planet's primary defenses are now crippled. Our tag teams can now begin to decode the Dominion security data link. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian Sheepyards. 
These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in dry dock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, the turncoat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the Captain and myself, Lieutenant Duram. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. by the Dominion flagship, NORAD-3. Well, now, I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down, now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Menx, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? Uh, you mean to tell me you've come all the way out here for Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Receiving transmission. Make it slow. Set the course. Receiving transmission. Make it slow.
Captain, the Dominion shipyards have been destroyed, and it seems that General Duke has withdrawn his forces from this quadrant. We have impressed most of the remaining Dilerian defense forces into the fleet, and stand ready to move to the next phase of our invasion. We've just received word from our research team that they've uncovered some kind of hidden weapons relay upon the planet Tarsonis. They report that it's called a side disruptor and that its purpose is somehow connected with the Zerg. Admiral, during the Zerg invasion of these colonies, the Confederacy had manufactured a number of portable machines called Psi emitters, which had the uncanny ability to lure Zerg to their signals. It was rumored that they had created a specialized emitter that could disrupt the Zerg's communications, but Emperor Mengsk was never able to find it. It appears that this Psi Disruptor is the machine he was looking for. I must humbly suggest to you, Admiral, that the Disruptor be destroyed as quickly as possible. If it should fall into the hands of the Dominion, we could face some very serious problems. Uh, a prudent call, Lieutenant. I am inclined to agree. But Admiral, this device could ensure our victory over the Zerg. It is foolhardy to discard such an advantage. Surely, Vice Admiral, you don't doubt the tenacity of your own fleet. Your directorate forces will devastate the Zerg without the need for such a device. Listen here, Lieutenant. I've had just about enough of your... This conversation is over, Alexei. Given the true nature of our mission to enslave the Overmind, we could hardly stand to have Manx control a device of this magnitude. This side disruptor must be destroyed in order to safeguard our mission. Anson, set your course for Tarsonis. Go ahead, HQ. Lieutenant Duran. Since you have shown such concern for this device's inherent danger, I charge you with finding the disruption and securing it. We will commence with its destruction once we've cleared the area. Reporting for duty. I read you. Reporting for duty. I can't build there. Yes, sir? Captain, our sensors are tracking Zerg signals in every direction. It appears that our intelligence was correct. Admiral, if we focus on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize this Zerg without too much trouble. I'll take care of it. SCB, good to go, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Job finished. What do you need? I'll take care of it. SCP, good to go, sir. I'll take care of it. Let's go, sir. Affirmative. Job speed. Right away, sir. Commander, let's move. Upgrade what do you need? I read you. Right away, sir. Orders received. Yes, Captain. What do you need? Orders, Captain? Just as I thought. This brood can't operate without its primary high Your forces cluster. are under attack. SCP, good to go, sir. Jacked up and good to go. Up here, right away. Complete. I'll take care of it. Base you is got under it. attack. I read you. Move it. Absolutely. Move it.
of service. Right away. You got it. Of course. Yes, Captain. Captain, we've located the side disruptor. Shall we plant the explosives on it? Lieutenant Duran, we're here to relieve you. We've come with orders from Admiral Stukov himself to facilitate the disruptor's disassembly. Very well. Take it away. Captain, I'll be returning to the command ship presently. Captain, once again, your leadership has set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the Psy Disruptor has been accounted for, so we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion throne world of Korhal. Alexei, fill the captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Coral was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Coral's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. Though the radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low, its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. The catch, Admiral is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Mengsk has no compunction against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustgrad. If those silos were destroyed, we believe that Mengsk would lose his core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Mengsk employs multiple battle cruisers for his planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Manx will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Manx's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against Augustgrad. Never know what hit him. You want a piece of me, boy? I hear that. I'm gone. I'm all over it. Nuclear launch detected. Call the shot. when we siege Meg's pass. Captain, Admiral de Gaulle has ordered a final tactical meeting before the siege of Augustgrad commences. I'll patch you through to his war room. Ah, Captain, we've been expecting you. As you may have guessed, we are coordinating our final attack plans. You should know that even though Banks cannot reinforce his numbers, his standing forces are substantial. Banks is an accomplished tactician, so you had best be wary of any counterattacks he may attempt. And Captain, remember that although we disabled Minks' nuclear capabilities, he still commands a large number of battle cruisers. We suspect that he will use these ships against us at every turn. Be on your guard, Captain. Show this Emperor what the UED thinks of his rule. SCD, good to Identify go, Identify yourself. Not enough minerals. In the cage. All over. Target designated. Finally. <laughs>
Nuclear launch detected. You want a piece of me, boy? I'm here. Call the shot. Nuclear is Never ready. know what hit him. Nuclear launch detected. Tracking the Dominion flagship Norad-3 in low orbit. Emperor Minsk may be attempting an escape. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Emperor Minsk of the Terran Dominion. I wish to parley with your executive officer at once. So, the elusive Arcturus Minsk at last. I was hoping to speak with you before we finish our business here. I am Admiral Gerard Dugall. And I must be compendious for holding back our advance for a stronger man. You are indeed a worthy boy. My thanks to you, sir. But you must know that your victory here is a little to me. It might have taken me a while, but I did overthrow the Confederacy. I'll overthrow your rule as well. That seems unlikely, sir. Seeing as how you have been publicly executed as awkward. Of your ranking officers. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> the man who crowns himself emperor speaks to me of daring. You have far outlived your reputation, citizen Banks. Captain, prepare to take the emperor into custody. You'll have to postpone those plans, gentlemen. Sir? The Rebel Command ship Hyperion has just entered our sensor range. It is accompanied by a small Protoss fleet. What? Who are these intruders? Jim Rayner. What the hell are you doing here? I'm pulling your ass out of the fire, Arcturus. So shut up and sit tight. Make no mistake about it. We've got us a serious score to settle. But right now, a mutual acquaintance of ours wants you alive. Prepare your ships for dimensional recall. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ayr. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Minsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Valkyrie prepared. Attack. 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 
coordinates. Destination, in transit HQ. Destination, in transit HQ. Orders served! Absolutely! Destination. Hang on, we're in for some job. Strapped Orders served! Proceed! Uh, greetings, command. Destination, input coordinates. Go ahead, HQ. I copy that. Hang on, we're in for some job. In transit HQ. Buckle up. In transit HQ. Buckle up. I copy that. In transit HQ. Strap yourselves in, boys. I copy that. In the five, 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 five. Hang on, we're in for some job. In transit HQ. Buckle up. In the five, 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 five. I copy that. Strap yourselves in, boys. Buckle up. Strap yourselves in, boys. In the five, 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 five. Buckle up. Hang on, we're in for some job. In the five, 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 five. In transit HQ. and Raynard will try to escape through the warp gate. Make ready to move in and intercept their vessel before... Wait, I've just picked up multiple Zerg signals coming in from the northeast. That's Duran's position. But he seems to have moved his forces out of place. Lieutenant Duran, this is Stukov. Come in. I'm tracking a massive Zerg swarm in your quadrant. Respond, damn it. That is strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Your forces are under attack. Fugitives Minsk and Rainer escaped through the warp gate due to the intervention of the Zerg. But shortly before our forces were overrun, Vice Admiral Stukov took control of a large contingent of troops and came here to the planet Braxis. Why would he abandon the battle on Ayer? Why has he come back to Braxis? I mean no offense, Admiral. But perhaps Stukov's loyalties are not as strong as you once believed. Because you are young and foolish, Lieutenant, I will pardon that insult. Alexei and I have been friends since long before you were born. However, he must be found. If Stukov is here, he will account for his actions. Admiral. Our sensors had detected a fully functional Psi Disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the Psi Disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible! I warned you, Admiral. Stukov has betrayed you! He's reconstructed the Psi Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in this sector! I can't believe Yet, the evidence is incontrovertible. Alexei, what have you done? Perhaps you've been right all along, Lieutenant. 
On my authority, enter the Psy Disruptor and deal with the Vice Admiral appropriately. Of course, Admiral. Lieutenant, hang tight for a sec while we clear the entrance. Leave lock the door. Set the bomb. Unauthorized entry detected. We're in. This room's clear. I'll take care of it. Madak. Of course. Access code denied. You got it. Of course. I'll take I care of it. Computers. Right away. What's up? Where's Stukov? Don't tell those traitors anything, Harry. Wax them, boys. Help! You got it. Of course. Of course. I'm out of here. Right away. Of course. One's the any key. Security cameras activated. Goliath repair bay located in sector four. If we can get over there, we might be able to hijack those Goliaths. You got it. You I'll take that. care of it. I'll take care of it. Access code denied. Hey, who's messing with the computer? Oh. Access codes before I blow an aggression inhibitor. I ain't telling you nothing. Ah! Wait, I'll tell you. It's the uh, Barnum. Access code accepted. Thanks. Uh, oops. <laughs> Security cameras activated. Vice Admiral Stukov detected in Sector 8. I'm here. You got it. Vice Admiral Stukov, I am here under orders to terminate your command. Lieutenant Duran, I'm not surprised. We both know exactly what it is that you're here to terminate. Get on with it. Say good night, Stukov. To hell with you. Lieutenant Duran, report your situation immediately. Gerard, old friend, you do indeed have a traitor in your midst. But it's not me. Duran, he has been playing us both from the start. He convinced you to destroy this side disruptor, even though it was our best chance at defeating the Zerg. And then on Iron. Allowed the Zerg to overrun us even as we had the fugitives in our grasp. I came here to activate the one hope we have of defeating them. And you killed me for it. Duran is your enemy, Gerard. I suspect that he may even be infested as well. Use the disruptor, Gerard. Finish our operation. Let my death have at least some meaning. Alexei! Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Computer, where the hell is Lieutenant Duran? The Lieutenant no longer registers on my sensors, Admiral. He appears to have vanished. No. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Sir, the disruptor's power core has just been set to overload. In order to prevent meltdown, you will need to reach the manual override terminal and shut the reactor core down. It must have been Duran. You men serve the Vice Admiral loyally. I ask that you continue to serve his memory by keeping this disruptor in one piece. Now get going, and find that override terminal. 
Calling online. Systems functional. Calling online. Go ahead, TACOM. Target designated. Outer installation walls have been breached. Tracking multiple Zerg signals throughout the side disruptor's interior. What the hell? How did Zerg get in here? Captain, we may have a huge infestation problem. This proves that Duran's working with the Zerg. Captain, don't let a single Zerg stand in your way. We need this disruptor now more than ever. Acknowledge the issue. Give me something to shoot. Go, go, go. Let's move. Go, go, go. Let's move. Outstanding. Disruptor's signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another. The swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling Overmind. Alexei was right. The Disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three Cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each Cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I'd venture a guess that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful and good luck. I am sure that this will be our finest hour. You want a piece of yeah, me, boy? Bye, bye, bye. Destination? Strap yourselves in, boys. Hang on, we're in for some chop. Buckle up. I copy that. In transit, HQ. In the five, bye, bye, bye. Buckle up. Your face is under attack. Call the shot. Never know what hit him. I'm all over it. Input coordinates. Buckle up. I copy that. Hang on, we're in for some chops. Reporting for duty. Input coordinates. I copy that. Buckle up. In the five, 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 five. In transit, HQ. Buckle up. In transit, HQ. Buckle up. 
Did someone page me? We breached the perimeter of the Overmind's nesting area. We can launch the med team at any time, sir. Right away. Your forces are under attack. Captain, the medics are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the Overmind. Your forces are under attack. Uh, excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. You ran, you son of a bitch. What's the meaning of this? Admiral de Gaulle, I've heard a lot about you. Ooh, what the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. The Zerg you've killed here and the Overmind which you've come to collect are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination, seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent Overmind of the Zerg. The Overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. By now you've realized that I've severed your connection with the Overmind and your renegade brethren. 
Understand, it's nothing personal. I just can't risk you falling under their influence. You're mine now. Serve me unquestioningly, and I'll let you live. My queen, pardon me for interrupting, but the visitors you have been expecting have arrived. Finally. They certainly took their time. Yeah, well, none of us were in any real hurry to get here, Sarah. Still suspicious of my motives, Jimmy? Always. <laughs> when I contacted you both on IR, I told you about the new Overmind and about the UED that seeks to control it. Well, the UED has done it. They've tamed the Overmind and now control most of the Zerg broods in this sector. That's why I've asked for your help. You want us to help you defeat the UED so that you alone will rule the Zerg? Wrong, Phoenix. I want to defeat them because if we don't, they'll clamp down on this sector and enslave us all. You know I'm right, Jim. You've studied the history of Earth. You know what the UED's agenda is. Taking control of the Zerg is only the beginning for them. Maybe. I don't know. My queen, again I beg your pardon for this interruption, but we have a very serious problem. Perfect timing. Gentlemen, we'll need to finish this conversation later. Continue, Duran. The Psy Disruptor signal has reached us here on Tarsonis and shattered the unity of your broods. Within the past few hours, your minions have turned on each other and left their hive clusters to run out of control. This is just what I need. Cerebrin, take the few zergs still under my control and do what you can to stem any further damage to the hive clusters. I can't afford to have them destroyed by my own minions. My queen, the hive structures are not responding to the Cerebrate's commands. There is no way to reinforce your warriors. Cerebrate, you'll have to make do with the warriors you have. Slaughter the dissidents, sir, in my name. Disruptor is causing me some very serious problems. Although I've regained control of my forces here, it's taking more and more concentration just to keep them in line. Oh, my heart's breaking for you, Kerrigan. Now exactly why was it that you asked Phoenix and I to bring Minx to you? Are you still suspicious that I'll kill him for abandoning me to the Zerg? I've gotten over it, Jim. We can't afford to let petty hatreds jeopardize our plans for the UAD. That's reassuring. Arcturus, I presume you found your cold sleep chamber accommodating? What is the meaning of this, Carrigan? Straight to the point, huh? I was hoping to chat. It's been a while. Not long enough. Why have I been brought here? I need your psi emitters, Arcturus. Why? Remember the Confederate psi disruptor that you could never find? Well, the UED found it, and it's preventing me from controlling my minions. With the help of your Psy emitters, I can gather up enough Zerg to destroy the Disruptor and confront the UED. And what are you offering me in return? Ha! Ever the politician. All right, Emperor. If you help me destroy the Disruptor, I'll help you retake Korhal from the UED. Hmm. 
a tempting offer. What assurances do I have of you fulfilling your end of the bargain? The only thing I can assure you of, Arcturus, is that without my help, you'll be the emperor of your own little 8x8 cell for the rest of your life. <sighs> I see that you're still a persuasive speaker. All right, Kerrigan. I'll lend you some emitters, but this had better be worth it. All right, boys and girls, listen up. Our objective is to locate and disable the Psy Disruptor's primary power generator. Once we've done that, we'll turn over the mission to Manx and Kerrigan. Let's move out. I'm gone. you mean, Phoenix? I'd love to believe that she's on the level, but there's a part of me that just knows better. However, I do believe that she's serious about taking out the UED. The only real question left is what happens to us when she wins. If you ask me, she's completely untrustworthy. But so long as she'll help me retake Core Hall, I'll work with her. Shut up, Arcturus. If I wanted your damn opinion, I would have beaten it out of you, in case you forgot. You're the reason she became what she is in the first place. You boys should really learn to play nice with each other. Kerrigan, are your forces ready to assault Korhal as we planned? Nearly. I still need a substantial cache of resources in order to build up my primary hive clusters. I'm wondering if you gentlemen wouldn't mind going on a fuel raid for me. It sounds like you've already got a plan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we should pay the Kalmorian Combine a little visit. Gloria is one of the largest resource nodes in the sector. If you can bypass their defenses and steal enough resources from them, we'll be able to afford a full-scale assault on Korhal. It's risky, but I think we can handle it. Phoenix, are you into this? If it betters our chances, I will lead the assault myself. Great. Let's get moving. Do you think they suspect anything, my queen? Of course. They aren't stupid, Duran. They're siding with the evil they know over the evil they don't. They simply don't yet realize what it will cost them. 
It is difficult to believe that I am working alongside my greatest enemy in order to save this sector. Fortune has been whimsical of late. You sound like a tired old man, Phoenix. Don't let the fact that I am 368 years older than you tell your impression of me, young Raider. I can still, how do you dare to say it, throw down with the best of them. I stand corrected. <sighs> We'll need at least 10,000 units of crystals to maintain the Hive Clusters. Don't come back with anything less. All the forces are under attack. I hunger for battle. Ah! Performed superbly, especially you, Phoenix. My hive clusters are brimming with energy, and my broods are stronger than ever. Then let's waste no time. Every moment we sit here means that the UED's defenses will be that much stronger, and I want nothing to stand between us and the retaking of my planet. You're right, Arcturus. The time to strike the UED is now. But remember that we're up against one of the most heavily defended planets in the sector. Laying siege to Korhal won't be easy. Not only does the UED control a substantial standing army, but may have Zerg reinforcements as well. Raynor, you and Phoenix will strike at the more outlying fortification, while my forces are busy assaulting the main UED base at Augustgrad. We've discussed this plan a hundred times. Commence the damn attack! Ha! <laughs> Very well, Arcturus. Before the next sunrise, Korhal will be yours once again. Our forces are under attack. was part of the deal, remember? I've earned this. I am Emperor of the Dominion again. I'll be sending General Duke to establish my base of operations in Augustgrad. I hope you make the most of your reign. Cerebro, Duran, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. Now that the UED's power base is broken on this world, only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here in Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Minx will be easy to deal with. But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. <sighs> they must all be eradicated. Cerebrate, I want both General Dukes and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. My queen, if I may suggest a strategy. Both the Protoss and Terran forces are resting after our previous victory. If we attack immediately while most of them are asleep and unaware, we can whittle down their defenses with relative ease. Clever. How long after our initial attack can we expect them to regroup and retaliate? I'd say in six minutes. 
That only gives us enough time to launch a surprise attack against one base, but it is a sound plan. Cerebrant, feel free to launch your initial attack against either base. Failure is not an option. Slaughter them all in my name. What's up? How y'all doing? Continue your attack, Cerebrate. Their defenses won't last long against us. You require more minerals. Well, if it is a little Kerrigan, I had a feeling we'd be meeting each other again. You got a lot to answer for, little girl. General Duke, you know I always wanted to have you killed. This is kind of exciting for me. Do your worst, then, girl. You ain't taking Edmund Duke without a fight. is all under attack. Did you really think I'd allow you to come into power again? You practically fed me to the Zerg on Tarsonis. You're directly responsible for the hell I've been through. Did you honestly think I'd let you get away with that? But you said revenge was secondary to defeating the UED. I lied. I liberated this planet because it was the UED's primary staging point, not because I was under any obligation to you. I used you to destroy the Psy Disruptor. And now that I've got my broods back, you're no longer necessary for my plans. I think I'll leave you here, Arcturus, among the ashes of your precious dominion. I want you to live to see me rise to power, and I want you to always remember, in your most private moments, that it was you who turned me loose in the first place. a betrayal, most foul Kerrigan. We were fools to have got along with this charade. You're right, Phoenix. I used you to get the job done. And you played along just like I knew you would. You Protoss are also headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. That's ironic. I can remember Tassadar teaching you a very similar lesson on Char. I took that lesson to heart, Praetor. Now, are you ready to die a second time? The Kala awaits me, Kerrigan. And although I am prepared to face my destiny, you'll not find me easy prey. Then that shall be your epitaph. In combat. He died because you betrayed him. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? You don't even know what you're talking about, Jim. Don't I? I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. For Phoenix and all the others who got caught between you and your mad quest for power. Tough talk, Jimmy. But I don't think you have what it takes to be a killer. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an army at my back. But rest assured, I'm the man who's gonna kill you someday. I'll be seeing you.
It is done, Cerebrate. They've all been destroyed. Let us return to Tarsonis to rest. For the first time since my transfiguration, I am wearied of the slaughter. My queen, our scouts have just discovered a massive wave of Zerg in high orbit. Hundreds of Zerg have landed upon Tarsonis and are even now approaching our location. A number of our outposts are already under attack by the Renegade Swarm. So the UED is testing out their control of their pet Overmind. I had hoped to lay low after we raised Korhal, but it seems the UED is intent on forcing my hand. Shall I rally your forces, my queen? Yes. We've got to defend our remaining outposts, and make sure that the Renegades can't gain a foothold in our immediate vicinity. Once we've secured our perimeter, we'll begin to take the fight to their hive clusters. My queen, we have located a small Terran facility towards the rear of the Renegade's landing zone. There appears to be a number of UED scientists working within the compound, but we are unable to determine the purpose of their presence. We require more minerals. I suspected that the UED's control of the Overmind was dangerous. We require more minerals. Tassos is too remote for them to maintain direct control over the swarms. So they've sent these scientists we require to more minerals. attack. Celebrant, focus your attacks against we the terror facilities. All of the UED scientists must be killed. Only then will we be able to finish off these renegade Zerg. with the Dark Templar matriarch, Rashagal. I need to steal her from her tribe before we can finally assault the Overmind on Char. However, her defenders will not simply allow us to take her away. The pylon clusters are generating some sort of electromagnetic field that is preventing our flyers from maneuvering. We won't have any air support at all. Then we'll need some new strategy. Perhaps it would be best if we stage some kind of diversion, my queen, and claim the Matriarch during the confusion. What did you have in mind, Duran? The Protoss outpost of Telematros is built upon a large mesa and is essentially impregnable to ground attacks. However, Telematros is fueled and supported by a number of adjacent pylon clusters. I believe that if we can cause a surge within those pylon clusters, we can cause Telematros' power grids to overload. The resulting explosion would be the perfect cover for retrieving the Matriarch. Queen. Simple. Devious. I like it. Make it happen, Duran. Cerebrit, you'll provide cover for Duran as he infiltrates the pylon clusters. Let nothing stand in our way. Right away. I'll take care of it. Of course. You got it. I'll take care of it. You got it. I'll take care of it. This cluster is ready to overload. You got it. I'll force it on the attack. Of course. I'll take care of it. You got it. Charge is set. Of course. Our forces are under I'll attack. I'll take care of it. Of course. I'll take care of it. You got it. Of course. I'll take care of it. Right away. Our forces are, are under attack. attack. 
I'll take care of it. Right away. You got it. Of course. The Hive Cluster is under attack. Pylon Cluster set to overload. My Queen, the last charge is set. Telematros will explode on your command. Very well. Cerebrit, send my minions down to the planet and have them retrieve the Matriarch. Duran, ignite the charges. Ignition commencing. Right away. The Hive Cluster is under attack. Time is finally upon us, my minions, to destroy the wretched Overmind and the last of its renegade Cerebrates. We can count on the UED providing us with heavy resistance, but not even they can stand in our way. Now that the Matriarch Rashagal is in my custody, I possess the means to attack the Overmind with impunity. But my Queen, I thought only the Dark Templar's energies could harm the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Even with the numerous broods at your command, any attack we launch against the Renegades will be in vain. Not so, Duran. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting my secret weapon to be arriving very soon. As you say, my queen. But I still don't understand why. We are receiving a transmission from an unidentified Protoss carrier. That's what I love about the Protoss. They're so punctual. Garrigan, this is Zeratul. I demand to know why you've taken our matriarch. Actually, Zeratul, she's not the one I'm truly interested in. I stole her to get to you. You see, I need you and your brethren to kill the Overmind for me. The only way I had of assuring your cooperation was to take away that which you value most. However, I give you my word that once you've killed the Overmind, I'll allow her to return to you. As if your word held any value. Zeritul, my faithful servant. You must aid Kerrigan in this endeavor. The Overmind is our common enemy. It must be destroyed to ensure that our people will survive. You ask me to aid this vile creature? I do not ask this for myself. Nor do I ask it on Kerrigan's behalf. I ask you to do this for our people, Zeratul. Obey me as you always have. Trust in my judgment. Very well, Matriarch. The Overmind will die this day. Rashagal, do you wish to return to your tribe? No, my queen. I wish only to serve you and remain at your side. What treachery is this, Kerrigan? This pathetic creature cannot possibly be Rashagal. <laughs> I promised that I'd allow her to return to you, Zeratul. But it looks to me like she doesn't want to go. You have corrupted her. Somehow you have poisoned her thoughts. Restore her to her rightful self, or you will pay dearly for this offense, Kerrigan. All right, Zeratul. You've got me. I made your matriarch my slave long before I joined you on Shakuras. She made the mistake of underestimating my power, just like everyone else did. And now she's paid the price. With her as my puppet, I was able to eradicate the renegades on Shakuras, and use you to kill the Overmind. 
And as you can see, your leader belongs to me now. Not bad, huh? We shall see, Kerrigan. We shall see. My queen, with the Overmind and its Cerebrates destroyed, all of the Zerg in this sector have reverted to your direct control. The remnants of the UED fleet have fled the planet, but I have no idea how many functional ships they still possess. We have finished relocating your primary hive clusters to this orbital platform. However, we do have a problem. Somehow, Zeratol and his brethren were able to bypass our defenses and steal their matriarch away from us. Damn Zeratol. He is a formidable adversary. Where have they run to, Duran? Our scouts report that they have regrouped with a number of protest survivors on the surface of Char. The Matriarch is being held within a stasis cell, leading me to suspect that the Protoss will attempt to take her home to Shakuras. <laughs> they still believe that she can be saved from my influence. Zeratul will be very disappointed to learn that Rashigal is beyond redemption. How much time before their fleet is ready to debark for Shakuras? They will be capable of dimensional recall within 30 minutes, my queen. That may be all the time we need. Cerebrate, mobilize all of my broods and send them to the surface of Char. I want you to bring both the Matriarch and Zeratul to me alive. Terminate the remaining Protoss with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Thank you, Zeritu. You have freed me from her vile control at last. You have always served me with honor. Thus, I must ask you to watch over my tribe. Into your hands I give the future. I can hardly believe this! You've killed your own matriarch! Better that I killed her than let her live as your slave, Kerrigan. Well, I have misjudged you, warrior. You are worthy indeed. You are free to go. What? I said you are free to go. I've already taken your honor. I'll let you live because I know that from now on your every waking moment will be torture. You'll never be able to forgive yourself for what I've forced you to do. And that, Zeratul, is a better revenge than I could have ever dreamed of. You will regret this decision, Kerrigan. We shall meet again. Source of the energy signatures. 
Set your course for the Dark Moon. If our Terrace is there, we shall find him. Zeratul, our sensors have detected a small Terran compound near the source of the energy signatures. Understood. I'll look into this matter myself. Come on, Simmons. Your orders, Templar. I do this for iron. Classified. Protoss Zerg hybrid. Imperfect cryo hibernation. Psionic emanations minimal. No. Magnificent, isn't it? What? Who are you? I've had many names throughout the millennia, young prodigal. You would know me best as Samir Duran. Kerrigan's consort. Is this part of her twisted schemes? No. Young Kerrigan could not have engineered this grand experiment. Although her rebirth into this Zerg Swarm has sped up my progress, I can assure you that this endeavor is quite beyond her narrow understanding. If you are not her pawn, then what are you? I am a servant of a far greater power. A power that has slept for countless ages and is reflected in the creature within that cell. Have you any conception of what you've created here? Do you have any idea what this, this hybrid is capable of? Of course I do. This creature is the completion of a cycle. Its role in the cosmic order was preordained when the stars were young. Behold the culmination of your history. All I behold is an abomination. Your violence, young prodigal, is typical, as is your inability to comprehend the greater scheme of things. You can destroy all of the specimens here. It will do you no good. For I have seeded the hybrid on many, many worlds. You will never find them all before they awaken. And when they do, your universe will be changed forever. Cerebrant, our scouts have just identified three separate fleets approaching this platform. With Duran having disappeared, and the bulk of my brood still on the surface of Char, you'll need to hold off the invaders by yourself. You sound worried, Kerrigan. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Arcturus. How'd you manage to scrape up your new fleet? Been raiding the salvage dumps again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this sector want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your new friends, Arcturus. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little fleets to bring me down. Three fleets? Don't play dumb, Arcturus. I've already spotted the other two fleets. Kerrigan, 
This is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to avenge the deaths of Phoenix, the Matriarch, and all of the other Protoss who fell before the Swarm. It is long past time you paid for your crimes against our people. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> the Protoss, too. Care to take a guess as to who the Third Fleet is? No need to guess. It's Dugal and the remainder of the UED fleet. That is correct, Carrigan. This is Admiral Dugal. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the Queen Bitch of the Universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it. This victory, Kerrigan. For the Protoss will never forget your treachery. We shall be watching you. Once again, I stand atop the broken bodies of my enemies. Victorious, but not unscarred. The Earthborn Directorate has been destroyed, and the Overmind lies dead and trampled beneath the ashes of Char. As for my unlikely allies, I think that I shall allow them a reprieve. For in time I will seek to test their resolve and their strengths. They will all be mine in the end, for I am the Queen of Blades. None shall ever dispute my rule again. Helena. By now the news of our defeat has reached the Earth. The creatures we were sent here to tame 
are untamable, and the colonies we were sent to reclaim have proven to be stronger than we anticipated. Whatever you may hear about what has happened out here, know this, Alexei did not die gloriously in battle. I killed him. My pride killed him. And now my pride has consumed me as well. You will never see me again, Helena. Tell our children that I love them, and that their father died in defense of their future.